Seeing a wrestler hit their finisher is exciting, but you know what's even cooler than that? Wrestlers hitting their finishers on top of cars. In the crazy world of wrestling, performers have found opportunities to execute their signature moves with automobiles as their padding. Let's take a look at a few such moments. By the end of 2006, Undertaker was pretty fed up with Mr. Kennedy, having lost to him on several occasions. At Armageddon, the dead man had one final chance to defeat the man from Green Bay, Wisconsin. The two squared off in a last ride match, where the first person to lock their opponent inside the hearse and drive out of the arena would be the winner. The Undertaker unloaded all of his anger on Kennedy, but a single kick and toss off the stage was enough to completely change the tide of the match. The Phenom was motionless as his adversary dragged Taker's lifeless body into the vehicle. Before Mr. Candy could hit the gas, Undertaker awoke and unleashed a second wave of attacks. The assault found its way to the top of the hearse, where Undertaker slammed Kennedy with a choke slam, but he wasn't done just yet. Taker grabbed the motionless body of Mr. Candy and hit him with a tombstone pile driver. After that was done, The Undertaker threw Kennedy into the hearse and drove away. To teach the Doctor of Thugonomics a lesson, Eddie Guerrero challenged John Cena to a parking lot brawl. As you'd assume, plenty of windows were smashed and plenty of cars were damaged. While the two wrestlers were exhausted, it looked like Cena was about to pick up the win. Right before he could hit the AA, Eddie countered and with a little help from Chavo, Latino Heat performed a frog splash off a van onto a car. That was enough to put the match away, and the Guerreros drove off in victory. Wade Barrett was feeling good on an episode of SmackDown, and started gloating about his victories over Randy Orton. As you'd expect, the Viper took exception to this and began attacking the English wrestler. Barrett did his best to escape, but Orton did let up. The two brawled throughout the arena, with the Apex Predator gained most of the offense in. The fight eventually found its way to the parking lot, which, to Randy Orton, seemed like a good place to finish things. The two ended up on top of a nearby car, where Orton began staring down his enemy and then struck with an RKO. The move left a massive dent on the vehicle, as well as an unconscious Wade Barrett. During WWE's tour of England in 2015, The Big Show was looking to make an impact. His first attempt was to interrupt Roman Reigns and poke fun at the Big Dog's defeat at WrestleMania. Reigns taunted the Giant and told him to come out to the ring, so Big Show did just that. The world's largest athlete ambushed Roman Reigns and began throwing him around the entrance stage. To conclude his attack, Big Show got Reigns on top of a taxi and hit the former S.H.I.E.L.D. member with the choke slam, leaving an impact both figuratively and literally. Chris Jericho's night in late 2016 wasn't going so well. The evening began with Y2J arguing with his best friend Kevin Owens. Jericho was so mad, he decided to pack his bags and leave the arena early. Then, as he was getting into the limo, the list got knocked to the ground, and somehow it just got worse. All of a sudden, Seth Rollins appeared and began throwing fists at the King of the World. The cherry on top came when Jericho was pulled onto the roof of a car, and Rollins laid him out with the pedigree. We're gonna need a lot of the bubbly to fix this. So which finisher did you think was the coolest being performed on a car? I have to say, Eddie jumping from the van to hit the frog splash was pretty awesome. After you leave a comment, check out the video on the right for more content. With that, I'm Zach from Tap Out Corner, and take it easy.